How do I find a rehab? Now that sounds a lot easier than it is and that's because online there are a lot of private rehabs that pay a lot of money to rank first on the first Google page. Uh, so most of them will be a .com or a .ca however the best thing to do is to look for a .org. Uh, this is a better chance of it being a legitimate website that provides uh, hopefully unbiased information to rehabs in your area. The problem is if I, if I was to go into a .com uh, or .ca for Canada, um, the issue is that they're paying a lot of money uh, for this po point of entry, uh, the rehabs that are themselves. And this is a big money making venture here where uh, up front there's information provided by this we apparent website that you go to, but the website itself may not be associated with an actual rehab. What it is is a portal of entry where it's a lot of money's gone into this to make it look very professional and you're, you are basically a lead. Uh, the person at the receiving end of this, you may, they will want you to probably talk on the telephone, gather all the information as an intake and just be warned that that information, uh, it is confidential but they will forward this to a rehab in your area or they might recommend a rehab out of your home province or home state. Uh, so this is a money making thing. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, they, these are legitimate. However, they probably will not give you information on publicly funded rehabs. Uh, so that's the first thing to do is if you are going through a dot-com website to ask them about publicly funded rehabs uh, in addition to the privately funded ones. They're going to want to know if you have health insurance or not. Uh, the, the better way is to actually speak to your doctor or to um, a drug treatment counselor in your area. They would know personally the best places to go to. I find that's a lot easier than using the internet. Uh, finally, um, going through the government websites, it depends. Uh, I've tried this myself with Health Canada recently and it became a total waste of time. Uh, I couldn't find any uh, information uh, pertaining to rehab and treatment whatsoever. So to summarize, if you're going to go online to search a rehab, it's a very difficult thing to, to get the answers you want. Uh, best to look for a .org uh, website and if you are speaking to somebody through a .com or a .ca website in Canada, is to ask them if they have information available for you about um, uh, which rehabs they refer to and uh, if there's any private or publicly funded ones uh, to get that information. Finally, the last things to look at in a rehab is to look at their programming to see what the number of clients to counselor ratio is, to look at the number of one-on-one -on -one uh, meetings there are per week and for how many hours to look at uh, reviews from this that are uh, true testimonials from real clients uh, to look at a review website to see if they're credentialed these are all the kind of main things to look at uh, also to see if they are 12-step related or not and there's nothing wrong with 12-step programs uh, that's what I did is complete abstinence and it it worked in my situation so far uh, okay I hope that helps thank you If you or a loved one are looking for help with substance abuse, call our 24-7 helpline at 1-800-615-1067. A caring addiction advisor is awaiting your call.